nice and I play with my friends. And sometimes you're praying like that, you're just talking, to, you're just talking and all. But as you get older and you understand, then you start asking God for things. Lord, bless my mommy and my daddy and Lord, help my friends and Lord, help this and that. And then as you get even older, now you start thanking God for all the wonderful things he does. Thank you for this, thank you for that. Thank you for all the wonderful things you do for us. So your, your prayers grow as you grow. But here's the one thing I want you to do. I want you to sincerely be aware that you're talking to God and that he is talking, back. he wants to talk back to you and open your hearts to have a relationship with him, to talk to him and listen to him and just do what he says, okay? Now, with that in mind, that, that, that's a, 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 a big thing for you to do right now because you're still pretty young and little. But who wants to pray a prayer like that where you pour your heart out to the Lord? You ready, Tesla? Okay, here you go. Pray for us, please. Dear Jesus, thank you for this day. <clears throat> and thank you for everything we've done. <clears throat> thank you for food and everything like that. Please help everyone save the sick and the hurt in the set. Amen. 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 That was wonderful, Tesla. Thank you all very, uh, very much. You may return to your seats now. For the adults, I have just one more quick thing. You know, the Lord is putting more in my heart the need for prayer, for corporate prayer in the church. And we have a lot of opportunities for that right now. Of course, we have Wednesday night prayer meetings. We have women's groups that pray. We have the pastor's uh, corner here. Sometimes Jeanne is here for that, where after church service, we come together and pray. But we need so many opportunities for prayer. So I'm, I'm asking the church to just pray wherever you are at all times and uh, just ask the Lord to give you opportunities for corporate prayer, whether it's going back to the home uh, prayer sessions that we were having, not at the same time as prayer meeting, but another time. Uh, but one thing that I'm doing differently is because I've been so strongly impressed by this, is that I put out there that I, I want to go down to downtown LJ and meet in the square and just pray for the city of LJ. And my prayer is like, I, it's hard for me to say this, but I'm just going to say it in faith, give me LJ or I die. And when I say LJ, I mean LJ, East LJ, Gilmer County, pretty much. And so uh, Larry Sharp was kind enough to said, say he will meet with me. And we met this last Thursday, and we stood there, and we prayed for about 10 minutes or so. We talked a little bit, then we went our separate ways. But I'm going to do that every Thursday from 8 to 8.30. God help me, if, if, if I'm in town and... The world hasn't fallen apart completely. I'll be there. And you, I'm just asking you, I know everybody can't make it. It's too far for some people. But if you can, Thursday mornings between 8 and 8.30, I'll be there in the, in the town square. It's really a circle, but uh, we'll be there praying. Thank you. God bless you. The service will continue as in your bulletin. Thank you, Elder JC. Uh, this is um, the part of our service where we uh, put a punctuation mark, if you will, uh, to pray. Um, I want to start with a, a brief survey, and that is uh, those who have um, a need for prayer for healing. If you just raise your hands, you can raise your hand, okay? I see your hands. Those who have a uh, prayer for healing in relationships, okay? How about um, for restoration of family members, maybe children who have departed from the faith, okay? See your hands. And then those who have unspoken requests, all right. I see those hands. Um, I was just uh, reminded that in Hebrews 4.16, we are told that we can come boldly. 
And what a high privilege it is to know that we can come before the throne of grace. So if you would join me in kneeling as far as possible, if you're able, let us approach the throne of God. Father, we have come. We've come because you have called us. And as uh, Elder J.C. just told the story of Samuel and the advice that Eli gave him, it was to say, speak, Lord, for your servant hears. hears. So, Father, this morning we've come because we desire to hear, to hear from you, but also we desire to receive a touch from you. So, Father, you have seen the, the, the hands, those who need healing for their bodies and their minds and spirit. You've seen those who have raised their hands for healing in their relationships. Maybe it's the marital relationships. Maybe it's a relationship between uh, a parent and child or just between from one person to another. And then, Father, you've seen uh, those who are praying for the restoration uh, that their children would come back to the faith. And then, Father, you've seen the, the hands for the unspoken requests. And, Father, we are so grateful that we serve a God who sits high, but he looks low. And you saw, you saw every hand, but more importantly, Father, you see our hearts. You're the God who, in your word, tells us that every hair of our head is numbered. That tells us that you are intimately acquainted with the details of our lives. That the attention that is lavished upon us is as if no other uh, one exists. So, Father, I pray that you would indeed, as you've promised, come divinely close to each and every person. That you would set a, a, your, 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 Send your angels uh, to every home and minister to every family. Father, we need your healing. But this morning, Father, as we've come to hear from you, we also desire for the promise that you have made, which is to pour out your spirit on all flesh. So this morning, Father, pour out your spirit on your people that we may have the earnest of your spirit, the agency of your spirit to convict us of sin and of judgment and of righteousness to come. Father, we plead for this promise to be fulfilled. And then, Father, you've promised that if we would seek first your kingdom, your rulership and your dominion in our lives, that you would add all things to us. And so, Father, we, I know that whatever needs we have this morning, that according to your word, it is yea and amen. So, Father, bless your people. Bless the service as we offer to you gratitude and praise for your goodness and your mercy towards us. And then, Father, for the bishop that is over this house, for the elders that lift up his hands, for the officers who serve, we pray that you would bless them and do them with wisdom from on high as they continue to serve. And again, Father, bless your people on this Holy Sabbath day in Jesus' name. Amen. Scripture reading this morning is from Revelation chapter 1, and it's verses 4 through 8. And I will be using the ESV version, which is maybe slightly different, but close. John, to the seven churches that are in Asia, 
grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come and from the seven spirits who are before his throne and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead and the ruler of kings on earth. To him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood and has made us a kingdom, priests to his God and Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. And all tribes of the earth will wail on account of him. Even so, amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. Well, good morning to, to you all, and uh, a Sabbath blessing be upon you, as well as a Sabbath peace. This, uh, this song we like to share is a, um, it's a Southern Gospel song that was originally written and recorded by the Tallies. Now, um, the Tallies have retired from touring, but you can still enjoy their music um, on YouTube and, and other places. But the song itself is about how all of us really need to stay close to the well of living water, which of course is Jesus Christ. I'm surrounded by a desert scorching sun and burning sand. It's a world filled with emptiness that can kill the strongest man. But I know there's a well in Canaan that flows with eternal life. And if I stay close to that well, it's for certain I'll survive. I need to stay close to the well, near to the living water, close to the well, a sweet fountain of my father. In this barren, dry, and thirsty land, I can drink from the cup held by his hand. The only place to dwell is close to the well. There's a healing in the water for the body and the mind. It can quench your heart's desire till your soul is satisfied. Jesus said, I am the fountain of life that never ends. And whosoever drinks of me will never thirst again. I need to stay close to the well, near to the living water, close to the well, the sweet fountain of my Father. In this barren, dry, and thirsty land, I can drink from the cup held by his hand. 
the only place to dwell is close to the well. I need to stay close to the well, near to the living water, close to the well, a sweet fountain of my father. In this barren, dry, and thirsty land, I can drink from the cup held by his hand. The only place to dwell is close to the well. The only place to dwell is close to the well. The only place to dwell is close to the well. As you can see, all the songs we have here, it's about Jesus. Yes. Having Jesus the center of our song. Um, now it's our turn to sing about Jesus. But someone mentioned something this morning. I think Uri was that come boldly to the throne of grace. Which is, which is taken from Hebrew chapter 4. Let me share with you because it's one of my favorite passages in the Bible. Seeing then that we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession. For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. When it's your time of need? Now, now. Our song, it's about Jesus also, and the title is well-known song, my, be my, my Hope It's Built on Nothing Less.
It's so good to be here. Happy Sabbath. This song we're going to do, we're going to do a couple of them. The first one is Wide, Wide River. And you know, it's a story about all the trials that we have to go through. And we want to seek redemption and finally make it to the promised land. We don't want to give up. We want to keep going and running the race.
And this next song we're going to sing is a song about the Easter story. And it's actually been rewritten. It was, as the name is, Hallelujah. But this is the Easter version, version written, written by Kelly Mooney and also uh, my student's mom, Mindy Vanderoff, changed the second verse of the lyrics to fit more of this Bible version of the story. So I hope you enjoy it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Black Mike, thank you. I want to thank Tones of Grace for singing that song. From the very first time I heard that song, I said, what a beautiful, heavenly music. But the lyrics needed a lot of work, the lyrics of the original. Uh, and I thank them so much for singing it with sanctified lyrics. To the children, I want to say I forgot to mention an important thing to you during the children's story. And that is that you can pray anytime, Tesla, all of you, you can pray anytime, anywhere, in any position. A good time to pray is in, in your bed when you go to sleep at night, while you're laying in bed, and when you wake up in the morning, you can pray then. Jesus Christ prayed while he was nailed to an old wooden cross. Couldn't move, couldn't control what position he was in or where he was, but he prayed and he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. I'm going to sing a Steve Green song, and uh, it's my prayer and my testimony, largely be because of the Christ sacrifice that Christ made on the cross for us. You all can cue that up when you have it, or not. If you can't get it up, I can play it on my phone. Sorry, uh, start it over again, please. I thought you were going to play it for me with the, uh, the track that I gave you. Okay, there it's on the screen, okay. All right, go ahead and play it now, please, from, with, with the words on the screen. Thank you. Just the time I feel that I've been caught in the mind of self. Just the time I feel my mind When the breeze begins to blow, I know the Spirit's call. And all my worldly wanderings just melt into His own. that say I want to know you. Lord, I want to know you more. When my daily deeds ordinarily lose life and soul, my heart begins to bleed Sensitivity to Him is gone I've run the race but set my own pace And face a shattered soul Jesus warms my heart. 
hunger to behold. Lord, I want to know you more. Deep within my soul, I want to know you. Lord, I want to know you. To feel your heart and know your mind. Looking in your eyes stirs up within me. Cries that say I want. Lord, I want to know you, and I will give my final breath to know you in your death and resurrection. Lord, I want to know you, oh, oh, I want to know you, oh. Church family, happy Sabbath. So, this is not my first time singing this song here, but I thought it'd be fitting since it is Easter weekend. And I just encourage you to listen to the words of the song. You know, whether you celebrate Easter or not, it is always important that we dwell on the gift of salvation that has been provided for through Christ and what that means for us in a personal way. And so this song is very personal for me, but I hope you make it personal for yourself as we dwell on the goodness of God. for so long and I needed God to take it from me all the burdens weighed me down I hid behind my fears but all along he was waiting with open arms to heal my heart and I feel peace where there was darkness I'm no longer trapped by shame through his love I've been shown mercy I've been I've been changed This is grace This is grace No one could have known my 
everything except for Christ alone. But He broke the chains that held me captive. Now I have a song to sing. I have a light to shine, and I'm giving my whole heart to Him. He rescued me, He set me free, and I have peace where there was darkness. by shame through his love I've been shown mercy I've been lifted I've been changed this is grace this is grace I couldn't measure up He always knew He was enough And I feel peace Where there was darkness I'm no longer trapped By shame love I've been shown mercy I've been lifted I've been changed this is grace this is grace Praise the Lord. Is it on now? Oh, there we go. All right, it is a beautiful weekend, isn't it? The weather is starting to really warm up. Springtime is coming. Just reminds us of the beautiful creation that, that God made for us. All the beautiful flowers, the trees, the birds, the noises. It's all just gorgeous. Um, but you know, as um, Eva said earlier, world can get um, pretty crazy, life can get crazy, and um, you can just feel like you're just gonna break gonna break into two you know and um, God just lets you know that there's a prize at the end um, and our prize is him coming so that song this song is about that Today be the day. Sometimes I feel like I'm gonna break, but I'm holding on. 
to a hope that won't fade. Come, Jesus, come. We've been waiting so long for the day you return and heal every hurt and right every wrong. I need you right now. Come and turn this around. Deep down I know this world's not my home. Come Jesus, come. Come Jesus, come. There'll be no war And there'll be no chains When Jesus comes Let today be the day He'll come for the weak And the strong just the same and all will believe in the power of his name. So come, Jesus, come. We've been waiting so long for the day you return and heal every hurt and right every wrong. not my home. Come, Jesus, come. Come, Jesus, come. One day he'll come and we'll stand face to face. Come and lay it all down Cause it might be today The time is right now There's no need to wait Your past will be washed By rivers of grace Jesus, come. We've been waiting so long for the day you'll return to heal every hurt and right every wrong. We need you right now. Come and turn this around. And deep down this world's not my home Come, Jesus, come Deep down I know This world's not my home Come, Jesus, come Come Come, Jesus, come After that performance, we just need to all go home and <laughs> such a blessing. Thank you so much for that.
this song. Um, last time I sang this song was uh, maybe 25 years ago, How Time Flies So Fast. But this song is important to me and it means a lot because uh, going through a hard time in my life when I lost someone that was important to me, uh, the sadness is real and you know, you try to find ways to make yourself happy with activities, sports, friends, but you can't, you know, and this song means a lot because there's a turning point where I really realized I needed God in my life. And although storms are still hard, it is different when you have God in your life. So this song is about having storms in life, but it's different when you have God in your life. It's called Home Again. so lost here in the dark standing in the storm all by myself I need somebody to save me from this empty feeling I can not do it on my own. Jesus took my hand and said, follow me and I'll never let you go. Now I can feel your love I feel your presence close to me In your arms again Now I'm safe and warm Back at home again With Now you're in my life to stay I feel joy, I feel peace Can't explain this feeling I have somebody To save me from this empty feeling Yeah, I can not do it on my own Jesus took my hand and said follow me and I'll never let you go I feel your presence near Now I can feel your love, your love in your arms again. Now I'm safe and more back at home again with with.
Is it afternoon? Good afternoon, L.J. The song that I'm about to do, I did it last time when Justin spoke, but it's so appropriate for the time that we are um, celebrating right now. We're not into Easter and all that stuff, but we do believe in the death of Jesus Christ, right? Because I do it all my heart. I want you to think of a line that I'm going to share with you as I sing the song. Just as though I never sinned. Just as if I never sinned. Keep that in your mind, right, as, as, as I sing the song. And so, Jesus just didn't die for us on the cross. He just did not, was buried and raised. But he's, he's offering us his life. He wants to give us his life. He wants to justify us. He wants to sanctify us and then take us to live with him. What a wonderful thing, right? Reason to be happy. His life of mine. His life of mine. The last time I sang this song, go ahead and you can start the track. The last time I sang this song, I went in a comfortable zone. I'm going into a zone that is not very comfortable, but all praise and honor to God. It's a little bit higher, my voice is not so well, but God is good. Yes, he is, yes, he is. That's it. His heart was broken, mine was mended. He became sin, now I am free. The cross he carried bear my burden. The nails that held him set me free. His life for mine, his life for mine. How good is ever be that he would die, God's son would die to save a wretch. Like me, what love divine he gave his life for mine. His cause of suffering brought me healing. He spilled his blood to fill my soul. His crown of thorns made me royalty. His sorrow gave me joy untold. His life for mine, his life for mine. Oh, how good is that? God's Son would die to save a wretch like me. What joy divine, oh, he gave his life for mine. He was despised and rejected, stripped off his garments and oppressed. I'm loved and accepted, and I wear a robe of righteousness. His life for mine, his life for mine. Oh, how good is it? God's 
sun will die to save a wretch like me. Oh, what love divine he gave his life for my. How many of you guys were blessed by this wonderful, wonderful music? Thank you, everybody. There's so much talent in this church, and it's so wonderful to see everybody participating. For our closing song, we will be singing hymn number 65, God Be With You Until We Meet Again. And the hope is that we don't meet just here for church, but in heaven, where we're going to be singing every single day, not just the fifth Sabbath. Okay. Please stand.
I had something in my mind to tell you, but uh, I think it's enough for today. I have been blessed by God, by His presence here, and by these beautiful songs that lift it up to heaven. And because it was about heaven and about Jesus, I want to invite you to imagine that scene that happened in heaven. We can find it in... Uh, that happened in heaven when the fall, four living creatures fell down on their faces before the throne, praising God, worshiping to God, saying, blessing and glory and wisdom, thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. O oh Lord, what a beautiful Sabbath. What a blessing to be in the house of God this morning, to enjoy the fellowship with one another, to smile to one another, to give a hug to one another, but in a special way to worship to our God, to having fellowship with Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for all these songs and praises to you. Please accept them. And at the same time, accept us because we want to give to you a living sacrifice of our heart and our souls. We want to tell you one more time how much we love you, how much we appreciate your sacrifice on our behalf, how much we enjoy that that day on Sunday morning, Jesus resurrected and brought to everybody the hope of salvation because in him we have redemption. Please continue to be with us, Lord. Don't we leave this place. Help us to take with us all these blessings and the rest of the week to give glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the Lord continue to be with you till we meet again. God bless you. Don't forget about the potluck we have for today. Everybody's invited.